Almost everyone can advertise on Facebook, Instagram, and now Threads. However, due to specific privacy rules, there are certain industries that have stricter regulations on who they can advertise to. These are called special ad categories. We're going to talk about the four main categories and whether your business may fall within them. And then I'll show you where you need to mark if you're in a special ad category while building a campaign to see what restrictions are in place and how they may impact your campaign. Meta has four special ad categories. The first is financial products and services. Then we have employment, housing, and three categories lumped into one, social issues, elections, and politics. Looking at them here, they seem pretty self-explanatory. However, if you feel that you're close to one of these, but not sure if you're exactly in one of the categories, we'll go in a little bit deeper into each one. But before we do, I want to clarify a few things. When choosing a special ad category, you do have to let Meta know which country you reside in. There are different rules and regulations in each country, but since Michelle and I are in the United States, we're just going off of the U.S. rules. That being said, we'll go into each one. We're going to see this in every single special ad category breakdown, but look at the very top of the image. Meta is going to see if you fall within a special ad category based upon the ad landing page, your creative that you're using within your ad, as well as the copy that you're using within your ad. If Meta feels that you're in violation within any three of those components and that you haven't categorized yourself as a special ad category, your ad and campaign can be rejected. So looking deeper into financial products and services, if your ads promote one of the following on the left, credit cards, long-term financing, payment or insurance services, and a few others, you need to mark your business as a special ad category. If it's gift cards, tax and accounting services, a store rewards program, that does not count in this category. For employment, almost anything related to hiring someone is gonna fall within this special ad category. Full-time or part-time jobs, internships, franchising, apprenticeships, job fairs, job boards, interviewing opportunities, and a few others. If you're just giving out advice, talking about your company, what Michelle and I do, we're just giving out education about an industry, we're not looking to hire anybody, you're fine. Anything related to hiring, you will have to mark as a special ad category. For housing, if you're looking to sell, rent, or temporary list, any sort of residence, that's a special ad category must. And this is where the housing special ad category mixes with financing, renter's insurance, mortgage insurance, financing for a house, home equity, any real estate services, all special ad categories, verified hotels, resorts, retreats, won't count with this and you do not have to mark as a special ad category. And a very hot topic right now anywhere on social media, social issues, elections, or politics. Now, within the past couple elections, Meta did have a rule in place where any advertiser who fell within this special ad category couldn't advertise for a few days before. Those are special times when elections are actually going on. But anytime all throughout the year, any election, political party, political candidate, any encouragement to vote, or anything considered a social issue needs to be marked as a special ad category. Not only that, there's additional verification stuff, which not going into that into this video. So now that we've gone through the four special ad categories, if your business does not apply to anything that was shown in the left side of all of the images, you're fine. You don't have to mark it as a special ad category. But if you are, you need to make sure that you mark it within your campaign settings, and we'll show you how to do that next. Okay, I'm in Ads Manager. Let's go ahead and start creating a new campaign, and then you can choose whichever campaign objective. I'm gonna click Continue, stick with Manual, but right away in the campaign settings, probably see it if I scroll down a little bit, here's where you need to define your special ad category if you did fall within one of the four. Really, you would just need to go to the drop down, choose one of the four options that we just talked about, and I'm gonna click off to the side because if I scroll down again, there are a few other details. I did say earlier on that you do have to select the country that you're in. It's gonna choose the country based upon what you selected when setting up your ad account. But for whatever reason, if it's different, you can go and select different countries and regions. I'm gonna leave mine as is. Now, even though that we're selecting a country here, understand that location targeting is impacted and is limited when you've defined yourself as a special ad category business. We'll see that when we get to targeting, which we can head there right now. So let's go to the ad group settings by clicking next. So you would continue setting up your ad set as normal, choosing your conversions, your goals. You can select your budget, but I'm gonna keep scrolling to audience because here's where we're gonna to start to see some limitations. I'm gonna jump around a little bit. When you are a special ad category, there are definitely some limitations. If I go down to gender, 
we see the pop-up below. Choosing specific genders is going to be unavailable for special ad category campaigns. Moving up to age, you must leave the age range at 18 to 65 plus. Essentially not discriminating against anyone. It even highlights it underneath. Moving up to locations, I just said on the campaign settings section that there are limitations here even though we defined our country. You can still go down to the region or state level, but notice this additional text right here. Individual zip code or postcode targeting is not an option for special ad category campaigns. Now you can still go in, type in a specific zip code, or do what I do, type in a specific place and location However, the radius around the specific zip code or location must be at least 15 miles. I can make it larger, but I can't make it smaller like I could in any other Facebook campaign. We do hyper-local campaigns for a few clients, especially when they're at trade shows or conventions, and we can get the radius down to one mile. Not an option with special ad categories, but I'm going to go back and leave it just to the U.S. So there's limitations there. Scrolling down a little bit. Languages, you can change, that's fine. Detailed targeting may be slightly limited. You might start searching for something that you know is a targeting option on Facebook, but it may not show up if you've already selected that you're a special ad category. It's harder for me to show in this specific example. Let me show you what I mean. Here's a different campaign draft. I don't have any special ad category created. For an example, let's say I'm running a campaign for a client and they want to target someone with independent leanings. Don't really have a political party affiliation. Now I understand in terms of relevance, there's a lot of things showing up that have nothing to do with politics. Fine. I'm going to take independent, go back to our original draft where we've already marked it as a special ad category, paste it in here, and we see that no results are found. It's not going to be like this for every single search. However, there are a lot of detailed targeting options that won't even show up for special ad categories. Even if you're 100% confident that they are targeting options on Facebook, they might be, just not for you. Besides detail targeting, you cannot exclude any detail targeting. So you can probably find out pretty quick. You can't get ultra specific. You have to have a broad approach. Now, for whatever reason, if you have other campaigns in the account and you were using a saved audience, which this account doesn't, this is our demo account, you can apply any saved audience. Just understand it's going to take into consideration all the limitations. So in your saved audience, you may have a different age range. You still have to comply with the proper age ranges, which is pretty much everything. It's the same thing if you were creating a new custom audience, which we can do right now. I do have an old video. I'm not going to reference it because it doesn't apply anymore. But I did make a video about special ad audiences. These were the ability to create lookalikes in a more private way. And that was essentially the only way you could use lookalikes for special ad category accounts. Well, those went away a couple of years ago. You can still create custom audiences. But again, it's going to take into consideration all the targeting limitations, the location targeting limitations, the age and gender targeting limitations, all of that into one. But after your targeting is set, you would go up to your ad. Choose the proper accounts. You see the ad setup is pretty much the same. Again, I just chose a traffic-based one. And then assuming everything else follows all the policies and guidelines, you can publish the campaign. Now, when the ads do run, certain categories may have a disclaimer. Anything within the social issues, elections, or politics will have a paid-for-by disclaimer on the ads. And any social issue, election, or politic ad lives in the Facebook ad library for seven years. The actual setup is really not that different than any other meta ads campaign. You're just limited on what you can select. If you're finding yourself running into any roadblocks, having issues, getting your business up and running because you do fall under a special ad category, or if you want to share some tips on how you've seen success by launching one of these campaigns, let everyone know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.